Hello YouTube and welcome to another Computer Tech TV video. My name is Rick Arter. Today I want to do a little comparison here for all the people who are doubting that overclocking can improve the performance and uh, lower the speeds of applications running and starting up and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is just a simple little test. I got a two minute movie here. It's just a slideshow of pictures. I'm going to have that rendered to 720p, I believe that's what you call it. And I'm basically just going to do a Windows Movie Maker publishing um, comparison here to see which takes longer or to see if they're the same, you know, to see what the difference is. So basically, I'm running a E4500 CPU. Stock clock is 2.2 gigahertz, but for this test, I'm going to run it at 2.0 gigahertz and 667 on the memory. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the publishing um, you know, publish it to the computer and basically see how long it takes. Then I'm going to overclock the CPU to 3 gigahertz, which is a 1 gigahertz overclock. Then I'm going to overclock the memory as well to 900 megahertz. And I'm going to run the same timings, 55515, for both tests, um, just to show you guys what the difference is between a 1 gigahertz overclock and, you know, a few hundred megahertz overclock on the memory. So here we go. We're going to run our first test. Let's load up our uh, two-minute clip here. This one right here. And we're loaded up there. This is just random pictures that I had. I just threw it into a thing, and we're two minutes there. So basically, we want to go to this computer. And go to Next. And we're going to change this to... 5.9 megabytes per second or megabits per second, 720p. This is a 11 megabyte file, roughly. And we're going to take it up to 90.7 megabytes at 1280 by 720, aspect ratio of 16.9 and 30 frames per second. And Windows Media Video WMV format. So here we go, guys. And we're going.
Okay, our baseline 2 gigahertz stock type scenario test is done. So now I'm going to overclock the E4500 to 3 gigahertz, give us a 1 gigahertz overclock, and raise the memory speed to from 667 megahertz up to 900 megahertz. And we'll see what the time difference is. So stay tuned, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, we have our E4500 set to 3 gigahertz, which is a 1 gigahertz overclock compared to our run that we just did. So basically I'm going to do this, and let's see uh, what the speed difference is with the 1 gigahertz overclock. Currently we're at 1.368 volts, and we're using the 10x multiplier, or 300 by 10, which gives us a rated FSB of 1200. and our RAM is running at 900 megahertz. So now let's run this test. We'll see what happens. 720p. Let's run this. Just about done, and we're complete. Now let's take a look and see what our comparison is and what our time difference is between 2 gigahertz and 3 gigahertz.